Brayton tough to lose two defensemen there? I mean, how difficult the situation is that for the club? Yeah, it's a, you know, greasy elbow by uh, Josty there. Um, you know, uh, you know, I, I understand he's going into the battle, but you gotta uh, know how to control your elbows and and not get it up into the D-man's face. One guy's six foot four, and one guy's six feet, and um, you know, it's it's a pretty uh, pretty gross elbow and stuff to lose a guy like Bobo, and then um, you know, a guy like Kadri, uh, a guy can't control himself. Um, you know, in the playoffs, he's uh, repeat offender, uh, bad hits, greasy hits, and and uh, he's got a guy in a vulnerable position and he picks nothing but the head. So. Um, you know, uh, you know, last time we seen one of those hits, it was uh, Oscar Sundquist getting hit by Wilson, and that was years ago. So uh, in, in our in, in the Blues hockey, anyway. So you know, hopefully the league takes care of it, and uh, we need to uh, uh, you know now focus on uh, games three and four, and, and uh, the league will take care of uh, those guys' uh, hits. Rick, were you guys hopeful? Of, uh, looks like you had some good looks and good opportunities. Maybe to get you got the one, but maybe get more out of that five minute power play. I mean, yeah, we, we had some zone time, some possession. Obviously, they, they did a good job of, uh, you know, fronting pucks with, uh, you know, Graves and, and Nemeth and, and uh, whoever's on the back end there. They blocked a lot of shots and Grubauer made a few saves. You know, I don't think it was, uh, you know, we had some pretty good looks and, and um, you know, obviously it would have been nice to to get a couple, but, you know, we, we kind of hung around and, and uh, you know, made a game of it. Where are you guys at as a team now down to headed back to St. Louis with a couple injuries? How do you feel? I mean, we've been dealing with injuries all year, so next man up mentality. Uh, it's the playoffs. Anything, uh, anything can happen. Um, you know, we feel uh, the last two periods we kind of, you know, started to build our game a little bit, and, and uh, you know, we like playing in front of our fans in the playoffs on home ice, and, and uh, we can't wait to, to get back to the enterprise and, and uh, you know, try and make this a series. Let's do two more for Braden. Can you take any of the momentum you had the, the last uh, period and a half or so? Can you take that back to St. Louis? I mean, at the end of the day, he lost a hockey game, so um, you know, momentum on their side. It's that's not uh, you know breaking news by any means, and and uh, but I think we did some good things. We um, we forechecked better, we played with the puck better. Um, you know, we made some plays, and uh, and you have to do that against a team like that. Like I said, if you're not going to make any plays and you're going to flip pucks out and and uh, you know chip the puck and and uh, not support each other, you're going to be playing a lot of defense. And I think um, you know we did that through the first four periods of the series, and, and hopefully we. Can, can gather what we did in the in the past, you know, two periods uh, of that game, and, and you know, trying to keep building their game. Brayden, you're going to have nine thousand fans at the Enterprise. How excited are for, for that? And do you have any message to those fans? No, we we. Uh... It's been a long time where you've you've had that many fans uh, playing in front of your home fans, anyways, and and uh, you know we love playing in front of them. Uh, you know some of the best fans in the league that cheer for us, and and we can't wait to get on uh, home ice and and like I said, try and make this a series. And and uh, you know they did their job, you know grabbing two at home, and, and now we have to try and do our best to uh, you know grab one uh, to start here in game three.